My name is Michelle Dufresne, and today I'm going to talk to you about one-to-one -one matching. I've been noticing when I've been out in schools that I see children using a reading finger longer than they really should. It's getting in the way of their fluency. So I want to talk about when they use a reading finger and how you should get it out. So here's a level A book. In a level A book, there's going to be just one line of text. What I like about this particular one, this is very, very easy because there's only three words and there's a picture to support the text. Now, sometimes you see books with even just two words. I'm not a big fan of uh, books that have language that's just partial sentences like a tree, a flower. Um, that's not like natural language. So you should be looking for something that has common language that sounds like books and then something that has nice font and spaces between it because that's where they're going to have the support to learn how to do one-to-one -one matching. So to introduce this book we would look at the pictures and talk about what's going on and then I would actually tell them what it says. I would say on this page it says I can run. Make your finger match up to the words. So I'm looking for them to be able to go I can run matching up their fingers to the print. If they have, if they say something like, I like to go running or something, and they're gonna get to the end and you're gonna say, do you have too many words? Try it again and make it match. So the idea is for them to learn how to match their finger up to the print, use the pictures to help them as it changes. So hopefully, they're not going to need any help reading this page. They know what the pattern is and they'll, I can, and they're gonna look at the picture and say, jump. And that's how you get one-to-one -one matching going. Now, as they get good at it, you might try a book with uh, more words on the first line, and soon they might be ready to move up to a level B, which usually has two lines of print on it. It's still really repetitive, so they're going to use the pattern, but at this point, they've probably seen enough of the same words that they're going to start to recognize some of them. I would hope that they would know the word look or the, and that's gonna help them know whether also whether they're reading correctly. But again, they're gonna use their finger, they're gonna to read to the end of the line, and now the challenge is to go down with return sweep and now read the rest of it. They also are going to have an opportunity to start using the first sound to check. So you might not tell them that this is a van so they could think, hmm, is it a truck? Is it a car? Is it a van? And then they're going to use the first letter to help them know whether they're right or not, wrong. But again, they're matching their finger up and that's helping them know whether they're right or wrong. Now soon, they're gonna be ready, hopefully, to move up to a level C, which is going to be a little more complicated because it's not as repetitive. So in this book, you can see the font is still large, you're seeing a lot of the same sight words that you've seen in the level A and B, but now they really have to know some of their words, and you would probably let them early on use their finger to point. Come here, said Bella. No, said the little puppy. Notice how I read with my finger, it sounds pretty choppy. Come here, said Rosie, come here. No, 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 said the little puppy. It's very hard to read fluently when you're reading with your finger. So the second time they read the book, I would say to them, can you try it without your finger? Encourage them now to put their words together and make it sound like talking. Come here, said Rosie, come here. Notice how when I don't use my finger, I sound more fluent. As they start to move up the text levels, sometimes it feels hard and you'll see them pull their finger in. So perhaps with this, which is a little more challenging, a little more text, they're going to want to use their finger. I would let them use their finger at first, but then I would say, even on the first reading, can you read it without your finger? And that's because when they're reading with their finger, it slows it down, and they're not able to use the language structure to help themselves. So you really want to encourage children very soon to stop reading with their reading finger. So I hope this little tip has been helpful to you, and Enjoy working with those little kids.